There are many buildings, parks, and spaces in our city that honor individuals. But who and what are we remembering? For decades, we've attempted to erase the trauma of various communities. Is it not more shameful to hide this past rather than acknowledge it? Instead of spaces that remember those who've inflicted such trauma, what if we could design new ones that focus on acknowledging the city and this country's mistakes in an effort to heal and move forward? Historical sites and monuments are established throughout Toronto to remember various notable individuals from Canadian history. Gibson House commemorates David Gibson, one of the land surveyors who helped shape our city. When plans for our city were made by planners like Gibson, streets and schools were named after individuals who went on to hurt different communities. But if Toronto has become a progressive city, why are we still remembering individuals despite the trauma they have caused? Shouldn't we be growing and finding new ways to remember and reflect? If it wasn't for my grandfather's ability to forgive, I probably wouldn't be living in Toronto. When World War II ended, he was released from an internment camp along with many other innocent Japanese Canadians. They were left with nothing but a choice. Move to Japan, where many had never been, or move east to cities like Toronto. He would often compare us to the Fuyuzakura, the winter cherry blossom, a beautiful flower that learns to thrive in harsh conditions. Similarly, they were able to persevere to make a new home in this city, despite the harsh conditions they were placed in. I think a first step in building more meaningful spaces for our city is creating ones with reflection and healing in mind. Somewhere people can go to take a step back and reflect on the past, present, and future. Nature is a place that many of us look to for an escape from our everyday lives. The sound of the ocean, so vast and full of infinite possibilities. Misty mountains, when conquered, can provide a sense of achievement and accomplishment. Seeing the sun break through the trees and hearing the leaves in the wind. All of these sights and sounds can provide a therapeutic experience that we need in order to pause and heal. So what if we had more spaces built around nature while keeping communities of our city in mind? Bring nature and concrete together to show how important it is to have this balance in our lives. We can include natural elements that represent the city's communities, like the Fuyuzakura. Let's create more spaces that celebrate the people of this city and their stories, rather than those who've hurt them. Then, we can begin to heal.